uh, Dean Natale. I think you'll have about two minutes. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Um, uh, Deputy President. Just when you thought this debate could not get any lower, just when you thought the opposition could not plumb new depths, they managed to surprise you. They managed to surprise you. They do it by some of the most reprehensible, appalling, dog whistle politics that we've seen on this debate so far. We have Senator Abetz this morning saying that we need to be careful about people moving in into our neighbourhoods who don't speak English. Well, my grandmother came to this country. She was here for 50 years. She came as somebody who was a migrant from Italy. She was illiterate. She spent 50 years in this country. She didn't speak any English. She managed to produce a family of lawyers, teachers, factory workers, doctors. She made a huge contribution to this country. And what Mr Abetz did this morning was not just a slight on people seeking protection in this country under the law, as they're entitled to do. It was a slight on all of those people who come to this country under difficult circumstances and facing enormous challenges, people like my family. And I um, thought that this debate could not get any lower, and yet it has. The question now is for Mr Abbott. Where does Mr Abbott sit on all of this? What's his view about how we should be treating people who come to this country seeking our protection? Should they be treated equally under the law as we have a long established principle in this country? Or are we, are we going to continue with the dog whistle? What concerns me is where, are we, where's, where have we got to go in this debate? How much lower can we go than we've got to Thank you, today? Senator Dean